Hey folks, Jiwo here, and we're back with some more Crusader of Seni for the Sega Genesis. In our last episode, we made it through the Palace of Peace. We defeated Maldra. We gained the ability, or we gained our, I guess, the ability to talk to humans again, our language. And we also got Wong the Raccoon. So what he pretty much does is just mix, mimics himself to look like you, and this just psychs the enemies out. It makes them attack him instead of you. So I mean, I guess that's useful, but I never use him. <coughs> Anyway, let's run back to our house and heal really quick, because... Actually, never mind. Yeah, let's do it anyway, because I'm... I don't like having low health. Be careful, don't overtrain or, or you'll hurt yourself. Thanks, Mom, you the best. You the, you the best. Best Mom I ever had. <laughs> anyway, alright, time for some secrets. Coolness. Actually, let's go visit our friend first. I forgot her name. Was it Maria? Dear Maria, count me in. Oh, it's Alice. Huh. Wow, Jiwo, I missed you so much. How have you been? Well, you made a lot of animal friends, didn't you? But did you find Wong the raccoon? Yeah, we just got him. Okay, so now we're going to head towards the Soleil Plaza, is it? I think that's what it's called over here. Oh, just a plaza. It's a playground. Okay, so now time for some golden apples and secrets. Okay, so you're going to want to head down to this corner, start hopping over all these pegs, and I believe it, is it this one? On oh, the one over. Yes, there's a secret passage, so we can run along the back area. Just be sure to cut down some rocks, keep going. Keep going. And there should be a golden apple right behind this tree, so that brings us up to three times apples. Yeah, good stuff. And just when you thought the secrets were over in this place, no, we have something else we can do. So let's head up to the top. And everybody's talking about raccoons here. There are raccoons that make fun of you, but kids aren't fooled by their tricks like adults are. Oh ho, you're tricky. Alright, anyway, so what you're gonna do here is hop on this peg, and I believe you hop on it 23, 24, 25 times. I'm just gonna keep mashing this. The monster mash. All right, any second now. We're almost there. Once it goes down, it'll destroy that rock in front of us. And geez, that is a lot of jumping. Okay, cool. There we go. So cut down this rock. Head over to the left. Run, 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 run. And you're gonna see a bunch of rocks here, which is coming up. Okay, so check it out. First one has a money bag in it. Booyah, 30 mullins. Third one has a money bag in it. Booyah, another 30 mullins. Fifth one has, guess what, a money bag in it. So we just got 90 mullins for cutting down rocks and hopping on a peg. I think that is awesome. Okay, let's see. I guess now we can head out towards Iris. Since we have about all the secrets we can get at the moment. Okay, and... Uh, Awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh, ooh, my bad. Alright, let's go to Iris. I'm gonna take the back entrance. And it's all snowy. Why is it so snowy? Actually, I don't think I can make that jump right now, can I? Can I hop over here? Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. It'd be funny if you could run into a mon over here. Oh no, just the slimes. Okay. So, let's just get out of here. Well, I guess we could talk to some people. Okay, this guy's just still hating on us because we swing a sword. Alright, how do I get out of here again? Alright, head up to the top. Jump over that jump. Okay, cool. So let's head over to the animal village first and we'll see what's up with these people. Oh, don't worry, my darling. We can always rebuild it later. And... Oh my, my sweet home was crushed by the hard snow. Poor guy, that sucks. Talk to Aroma. The snow in this... The snow is the source of our trouble. Until it stops, the sun won't shine. But we can do this. 
Look at the snow, there was thunder at the human village too. So that's our next stop. We gotta head toward Iris. Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Oops. Ouch. That hurts, man. That's ice cold. Okay, let's dodge all these animals. Or enemies, I should say. But yeah, something cool is, uh, now that our sword is a lot stronger, one slash can actually demolish those tree stumps. So that makes farming for... What do you call it? Mauling a lot easier. Hey, I, I saw you change into a slime, you monster! You will not fool me, leave this place at once. So I guess he saw us turn into a slime. How? I have no idea. Did my grandfather trouble you? I'm really sorry. He was so excited saying you turned into a slime. Is it because of his age? And hey, it's Chai! Jiwo, he made me wait so long. You should visit more often. I was listening to my grandma's stories. Let's go talk to her, Jiwo. Okay. Chai really likes you, doesn't she? Oh, I was told to tell you a story. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. Well, when I was a child, I was swept up by the cyclone and was taken into the past. Really, it was so weird. I was in a world where my parents were kids. The cyclone has the power to connect the present with the past. How did I get back? I wore the magic shoes. But some jerk stole them a long time ago. And that's totally, uh, what is it? The Wizard of Oz. And, uh, and the Wizard of Oz reference. A, the Wizard of Oz reference. <laughs> anyway. So let's talk to Chai again. Yeah, aren't grandma stories fun to listen to? You see, I know the place where the magic shoes are hidden. Want to know? Yeah. They are in the chest by the pond, but apparently somebody stole them. I hate crooks like that. Okay. So, that's why I just said to keep that treasure chest in mind. So, of course it's empty and we can't do anything over there. Oh, bummer. So, let's head up here. And you can pay this flower, I think, 10, 50 Mollins for information. But I really don't want to, because I want to save my Mollin for that. Oh, you know what? I think I do have to pay him. Oh, great. Okay, we'll pay you. You got a deal. It's about that hole. Just before you came, a bolt of lightning struck that very hole. Since then, it has become like the sky at night. Stand at the edge and you will hear. What? Can't hear? Go there and listen carefully. So I guess you have to pay him 50 Mullins. That is a bummer. Anyway, walk over to the edge. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? What the heck? Dorothy, who lives in front, was blown by the cyclone and was lost. I'm so relieved that she is safe. She said she was in the past. Was she dreaming? Uh, so he's leaving his family behind a train. Da -da 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 -da, and then the kid doesn't want to go. So I guess this is when the Rafelsia training ground first was built. So I guess that means we are in the past, especially since this looks like Chai. But Dorothy insists that she was in the past. It must have been tough for her, but I know about the past all too well. But no, it can't be. My daughter was lost for such a long time. That's why she says some nutty things. And yeah, this isn't Chai, but Dorothy. I rode a cyclone to go to the past, but nobody, no one believes me. And I have the magic shoes, too. I hate adults. I'll never be one. What? You want my shoes? No way, Jose. Get lost. I'll never give them up. I'll hide them in a place where you'll never find them. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. But we know where they are, because they're in that treasure chest. Unfortunately, you cannot use Dippy the dinosaur to cross. So there must be another way, right? Of course there is. Where there's a will, there's a way. So where we're gonna go is head toward the animal village. And of course these enemies are a lot stronger now, especially those inchworms. And so are the stumps. See, now they're gonna take two slashes, I think. Yeah. So let's just keep going. It's best to just avoid the enemies, since we are just gonna... Whoa, dodge. I think we need to bust out Cecil here, too. Oh, what the heck, man? I'm so used to this sword charging with, um... What's his face? Dude, why am I taking so much damage? 
Anyway, like I was saying, I'm so used to the sword charging with Leviathan, so... Let's hop over... Kill those two stumps, and head up here. Okay, so this is the animal village, and look at this guy looks like Ramses. The forest seems quiet and easy to live in, don't you think so too? I used to live in Water Lily, but I'm starting a whole new life. This is a good place. I'm sure I can make good friends here. And what the heck is that thing doing over there? So... Throw that platform out there and talk to him! It's Rio! I'm an armadillo! I was just enjoying the water. Thanks for nothing. Gee, you have a lot of friends there. Can I join you? Rio the armadillo joins the group! And Rio's kind of cool, because <laughs> he will, I guess, hide himself in his... What do you call it? Yeah, in his shell or whatever. Armadillos don't have shells. But anyway, you can use him as a plank. You just pick him up, boink, and you can jump on him. That's pretty cool. So anyway, let us head back to Iris in the past. Past Iris. That's what we'll call it. I throw my sword. That sucks. It, that would really suck if I. Oh no! Ouch. Oh man, I am taking a lot of damage. These guys hurt. I was like, why am I losing so much health, man? These guys, like, take away two apples with each shot. So, looks like we really need to start avoiding these enemies. Be a little more careful, at least. Okay, okay, we juked him out. We are good to go. Alright, awesome. So what we're going to want to do here is use Rio. We're going to pick him up, toss him out there, and whoa, what the heck happened there? Jiwo gained the magic shoes with the she's. Wow, there's there are so many grammatical errors in this game. And like always, they fixed it in the European release. But not in the US, I don't know why. Anyway, so the, these shoes allow us to go to the pass. Jibo decides to wear them. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And yes, we are back in Iris where I guess the sun is shining. Well, not just shining, the snow is falling. So yes, in our inventory we now have the shoes, as you can see, as well as the holy sword and the giant plant. So now we are just missing two more animals. And let's talk. Camellia de... Camellia Desert was once a country with advanced technology, but was destroyed by the monsters. I wonder why this has happened. Can you guess where our next stop is? Haha, <laughs> cool. You came to see me! Thank you! For this I will take your strain away! Oh, Chai, you love us. You love us. I love you too, Chai. It's a funny story, but I hear that a cyclone came out of the crater. That cyclone is now heading towards the Camellia Desert. How frightening. So yes, that is our next stop. And you know why? Um, I think when I first got to... What was the place? When I first got to Castle Frieza, yeah, I was wondering like where all my money went. And see, the thing is, <laughs> I actually started playing my practice run that I was doing, so, which was in the actual... which was in the second save file, and my Let's Play file was the third. So I had picked the second, and now I have to stick with it. So I may have miss, missed some money bags, I should say. I think that's one I missed right there, too. So, yeah, here's a money bag I, I missed. So that brings us up to 500. Cool. Alright, dude. Is that... Okay, let's get out of here. And now our next stop is the Camilla Desert. Alrighty. That'll be fun. I forget which one I should stop by. Alright, we'll take the back exit, er, back entrance. Anyway, in our next episode, we will check out what's up with this cyclone in the desert. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed me getting owned by tree stumps. And, you know, we got the magic shoes. So there's no place like home. Thanks for watching. GWO out.